Hello, this is Fide Master Todd Andrews again, broadcasting to you from the Nashville Chess Center in Nashville, Tennessee. In this video, we are going to take the first steps at learning how to checkmate our opponent. If you aren't able to checkmate your opponent, then uh, you can't win a game of chess. It's the ultimate goal of every game is to eventually trap his king so he has no safe squares to go while he is in check or, in other words, under attack. Look at the diagram in front of you. You can notice that the that black only has the lone king. He doesn't have any other pieces on the board. So if you're just learning how to play, if you watched our previous videos, there's typically three ways to get out of check. You can usually run away with your king. You can block the check. Or you can capture the piece that's putting you in check. However, when you're trying to chase down only their king and they have no other pieces, this is going to take away uh, a few of their options. They're not going to be able to block at all. And they're only going to be able to capture with their king, which is, means we have to place a piece one square away from him, which we're going to try to avoid when we learn these checkmates. This first checkmate is the simplest one, and I call it the sweep. We're trying to sweep his king off the board, and we're going to start by sweeping him to the right, over here to the H file. The first thing you should focus on in this position is the rook on C3. This piece is the one doing the work right now. He's creating a big wall or a barrier along the C file that the black king is unable to cross over. So the king only has access to the right side of the board because the squares C8 and C7 are covered by the rook. So since the rook is the one working, we have to put our queen to use. How can the queen move over to the D file? All right, she can go from B2 to D2. And this is check, where we are attacking the black king vertically. And so now what this does is it pushes the black king further over to the right. He has to move over now to the E file, because again, the squares along the C file are covered. And now the only square he had access to on the D file was D7. It's being taken away by the queen. So he has to run over to the right. And what we're going to do is we're just going to alternate one teammate after another using the rook and the queen. So now the queen is the one that's creating the large wall or the large barrier that keeps the king trapped. So we have to bring the rook over to the E file. And then he takes away all of the E file squares like E8 and E6 from the king. Again, he can't run back over to the left because all of these squares are covered by the queen's vertical movement. So he has to run over to the F file to try to get safe. So we went... Queen check first, then the rook check, and so we alternate back. Queen f2 check, pushing him further over to the left. Rook g3 check, pushing him over to the h file. And let's see if you can come up with the last little part of this pattern. All right, if you said queen to h2, very good, because this is the final move of the game. This is checkmate. Now, just to... Uh, Give an idea of how we should visualize and figure out whether a position is checkmate. You can go through the ABCs of getting out of check. We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.